Hello and welcome to Everyday Mystic, an aid to your spiritual growth. On the journey that we are on, there is a core theme of surrendering the selfish, illusory needs, wants, wishes, and desires of the ego, with its frantic activity, to the will of God, whether we do it alone in meditation, prayer, or other spiritual practices, or whether we do it in service to others. Wherever you are in life, there is a very real shift taking place within you, if you have started to wake up. It is a shift away from self-centeredness to selflessness, a shift from doing to being, and a shift from being caught up in thoughts, to being centered in the present moment. This is happening naturally. The question is just how much you are going to suffer while resisting it. In this whole process, I think that it will serve you well to know a little about Bhakti Yoga, as it ties neatly in with both what is happening, and what Jesus preached 2000 years ago. It is the same timeless message no matter which culture you come from, even though I'm thoroughly convinced that it has only found one perfect expression, and it is in the person Jesus Christ. Bhakti Yoga is a spiritual path rooted in the practice of unwavering devotion and love towards the Divine. It emphasizes a deep connection with the sacred through acts of worship, prayer, and selfless service. This path recognizes that the divine is all-pervading and can be experienced through a heart overflowing with love and reverence. In Bhakti Yoga, the focal point is the emotional bond formed between the devotee and the divine. Through heartfelt expressions of devotion, one can transcend the limitations of the ego and merge with the universal consciousness. The central idea is to let go of the self-centered desires and surrender to a higher purpose, finding solace and fulfillment in the Divine Presence. Similarly, the teachings of Jesus, as recorded in the sacred texts, emphasize love, compassion, and the importance of a personal relationship with the Divine. Jesus spoke of love not as an abstract concept, but as a transformative force that connects all beings. He urged his followers to love one another, including their enemies, and to treat others as they would wish to be treated. Through parables and teachings, Jesus illustrated the value of humility, forgiveness, and selflessness. His life exemplified the idea that true spirituality is grounded in acts of compassion and service to others. By embodying these qualities, Jesus demonstrated the path of devotion and love that resonates deeply with the principles of Bhakti Yoga. Both Bhakti Yoga and the teachings of Jesus emphasize the power of surrendering the ego and personal desires. In Bhakti Yoga, surrender is about letting go of attachments and ego-driven motives, allowing the devotee to merge their consciousness with the Divine. In a similar vein, Jesus encouraged his followers to humble themselves and surrender their will to God's Divine plan. Furthermore, these paths highlight the unity that underlies all creation. Bhakti Yoga speaks of the interconnectedness of all beings through the lens of Divine Love while Jesus' teachings echo the idea of the interconnectedness of humanity under the love and care of a compassionate Creator. The essence of these paths is to recognize the divine spark within every being and to cultivate a sense of unity beyond the superficial differences that divide us. I want to stress that this does not mean that we should adopt some relativistic spirituality where every truth is equally valid. I believe that Jesus is the truth, the way and the life, and whatever else may be true about Him he embodied the path back to our Creator in everything that he did and taught. But rather than looking at other religions as false, demonic doctrines, I believe that the right way of looking at them is as containing reflections of these truths. In some instances, these religions can help shed light on what Jesus taught, as there are many passages of the Bible that are obscure or contain ambiguities. Both traditions also incorporate rituals and practices as vehicles for expressing devotion and love. Bhakti Yoga employs rituals like prayer, chanting, and meditation to facilitate a deep connection with the Divine. These rituals serve as reminders of the sacred presence in everyday life. Similarly, the teachings of Jesus include practices like prayer, communal worship, and acts of kindness as ways to manifest love and deepen the relationship with God. A fundamental theme shared between Bhakti Yoga and Jesus' teachings is the concept of divine grace and unconditional love. Bhakti Yoga teaches that divine grace flows freely to all, regardless of their actions or worthiness. Similarly, Jesus' teachings underscore the boundless love of God, offering redemption and forgiveness to all who seek it. 
This message of grace resonates with the heart of Bhakti Yoga, where the devotee is invited to receive and share divine love without reservation. In the midst of our fast-paced lives, the essence of Bhakti Yoga and the teachings of Jesus can be a guiding light. In our pursuit of success and material gains, we often neglect the need for spiritual connection and meaningful relationships. Incorporating the practices of devotion and love can help ground us, reminding us of the deeper purpose that goes beyond the superficial. I know that this isn't easy, as the world nowadays does its best to keep us busy, focused on ourselves, and disconnected from each other. In this often hectic mess that many of us have found ourselves in, it could be worthwhile to try and remember that we have the opportunity to wake ourselves up from this waking sleep anywhere and at any time, and take a look around to see if there is something that we can do differently. In our communities, workplaces, and families, small gestures of compassion can have a profound impact. By dedicating ourselves to acts of service, we not only uplift those around us but also experience the joy that arises from making a positive difference. Modern life often encourages us to focus on personal achievements and external validations. Bhakti Yoga and Jesus' teachings offer an alternative perspective, that by surrendering our egos, we can find inner peace and contentment. Letting go of the need for constant validation, achievement, pleasures, material possessions, and competition can free us to live authentically and connect more deeply with ourselves and others. This is, fundamentally, a shift from all of the nonsense that the world tells us to focus on, to what truly matters, our connection with our Creator and with each other. This is where true freedom is to be found, in genuine connection in the present moment. And this is what those that want to control you are desperately trying to keep you away from. From this perspective, we can also take the edge off of challenges and adversities. Bhakti Yoga and Jesus' teachings encourage us to face these challenges with love and grace. Instead of reacting with anger or resentment, we can respond with understanding and empathy. Ultimately, this can be summed up in the saying of Jesus that we should be, in the world, but not of the world. The more we can surrender to the will of God, the more free we become to act in alignment with the higher, eternal divine values that are written into our hearts, that the world of today tries so hard to relativize and trivialize, regardless of the material circumstances that we are currently in. And when we start living as God intended, we will likely see changes in our material circumstances, even if it might not be apparent immediately. But this is not what's important. What's important is the love and connection, and the freedom from external circumstances that you enjoy because of it. But don't judge yourself if this is difficult. Because while this is your natural state, the world has hammered in a different teaching, the teaching of the ego, since the day that you were born. This, the most important and most natural way of being, will therefore take time to learn, and there is much to unlearn. The good news is that, contrary to the ways of the world, this is not a competition. It's not about who does it best. So don't beat yourself up. Instead, relax and let go. That's all for today. If you like the video, hit the like button, as this helps the video to get noticed. Also, feel free to share it on social media and other places. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell, so that you always get notified of new videos. I post content every day, and I do my best to always offer something valuable. Also, check out the comment section and the description for other things that me and my wife are doing. Thank you for your time.